Okay, good morning. Today is Wednesday. I believe it's the 9th of June. I'm going up this hill. I'm at about mile 380. And I got dropped off by the shuttle driver just a little while ago. You can see the parking lot there where people get dropped off. Other people either getting dropped off or waiting to get picked up. Anyhow, I planned for myself a 14 to 15 mile day, depending on which signs and which charts. If it's 14, it's 15. I'm figuring 14 and a half. Now at my usual pace, and it's granted a low pace intentionally so that I don't trip myself up too badly. So that would be a mile an hour, be a 14 hour day. I'm pretty sure I can do it in 12 or less, hopefully. Good morning. Good morning. And this is a nice path here. And you'll notice I'm wearing my buff over my head because I'm not in the tree line yet. And I lost my hat yesterday. So, going uphill. And today's day is also 3,000 feet up, but it's almost 6,000 feet down over the course of the day. Ooh. So, and from it's my understanding that the first two or three hours are going to be mostly the ups. And then it should be a nice glide down the rest of the day. Because that's like the better part of, well, a mile. Yeah. And here we are. I'll be able to take the bus off my head. You can see we're walking into the woods. And this looks like the pine forest section. Put a few of these, nice. And there's the uh, white blaze. Confirm that you didn't screw up a long way. Ooh. Ooh. Taking it slow, because I haven't been walking long yet. The first half hour or so. It's always very slow while you're trying. Well, your body says, are you kidding me? It takes about a half an hour for it to realize that, okay, he's really going to do this. You might as well go with him. Oh. Oh. The pines are interesting always. At least I always think they are. If I had to camp and didn't have sites already designated and picked out, these are the kind of areas I'd look for. Even with a hammock. You know, people complain you get the sap off the pine trees, but other than that, you usually have a very nice open area in between. And the saps are washable, so. Alright, I'm going to turn this off until I have something substantial to say again. And I uh, will see you later. Bye bye. An interesting view from a higher vantage point. Not up to the top yet, but we're working on it. Ooh, let me get there. Still Wednesday, and here is the other side of that hill or mountain. 
you take your pick on the terminology. It's beautiful. I will tell you that. And I've seen some of the videos now on YouTube for my channel. And yes, you don't get anywhere near the, the pictures drop a lot of the spectacularness. Good morning. Hi. Else walking their dog. Oh. And there's a naked tree. Okay, wait a minute. I think I'm about to make an error here. I'm pretty sure that's the Appalachian Trail. Okay, here is the white blaze, so this is the way it goes. Assuming that's right, and we usually try to. We have a good reason to think it's wrong. And if I'd walked another 20 steps, I would have seen that. Now that is actually marked wrong. Somewhere over this area, the Tennessee area, I guess, they evidently got a different manual on how to mark these things. It's not bad, it's just not what you're expecting. There is a marker there. It doesn't tell you a whole lot. It's just a white blaze. But, should I be going around the rock? Should I be going this way? And at first I thought it was an arrow, but it's someone's t-shirt. And I've seen some of those. You're supposed to have a double white blaze. One on top of the other. And if there's a direction change, it's supposed to be the top one. is a little to the left. If you're going to go left, right. If you're going to go right. If it's a straight ahead because you're in an intersection, there's supposed to be one on top of the other. But in Tennessee, we've noticed quite a few where a couple that were actually just wrong completely because the trail obviously goes this way and it would give us the thing going the other way, the indication. Or they would do one on top of the other and then the trail would change. Now, one on top of the other can just be pay attention, there's a change coming. But if you know it's left or right, <laughs> use the left or right identifier. Instead, sometimes they put an arrow underneath, which helps so you do get the thing, but it's like confusing. It, it's out of the standard norm. It's like when you're driving in New York City and they take the street lights and they move them to the side to the on a post. And it's like, uh-huh, what? Instead of in the middle, in the center. That's thrown me a couple times. Oh, look over that way. That is... The clouds almost look like a uh, sea. That really is a spectacular point of view. So all those people that are in those mountains, underneath the clouds, Yes, they are underneath the clouds. And to them, it looks like a dreary, cloudy day. Might even be raining down there. But here, it's kind of nice. Unless you're under that cloud. Or that cloud. <laughs> different elevations, different weathers. Yeah, here's a perfect example. However, these are nice every now and then, where it says uh, an N or an S. I applaud those because 
now you know you're going northbound. Because there's nothing worse than getting a half a mile and realizing you could be going the wrong direction. Alright. I'll let it run for a little while. If it's not good, it can be edited. But if I don't have any footage, you can edit it. So. And over there again. Yeah, every now and then I look over there and see the blaze with the north. So, unless I'm going to mess with it, I'm headed north. This one I'm assuming has an S. Yep, going back the other way. So, that's comforting. Now, here's where it's like, I wish there would take more time on the intersections and less times time on the redundancies. There's no other options to turn here. This is the trail. It looks like there's a little bit of an option here, so I take that back, but... Yeah, so... People have made a trail down that way. So maybe it is okay to put another one here. However, I think most people would be about 90% sure that this is it instead of that. Oh, and you have the orange the plant. Like pumpkins getting ready to go, except pumpkins are always lower. This must be terrible in the rain. You can see they put like a landscaping cloth material down and put the rocks on top. But if you're observant, you'll notice a lot of it's washed away, the covering. Same thing with that. I think that's a little more. It's like a net, like a tailgate net. I think that has more uh, holding power. Although you would debate that after seeing this one. So, who knows. And those are the rain runoff channels. They're not really trails. But in some places, they get very large. And you can mix them up for the trail. And make a wrong turn. Which I guess is why they put another thing there. So there are people trying to do that, so maybe here wasn't the best example of the times when they overmarket because it could be another trail. Anyhow, I'm getting near the end here, and it's early in the day and this is slowing me up. And I have to take my pills soon, so I think this is the where the stone ends, which you can kind of see as you start to go up that hill. Maybe, maybe not. But you lose a lot of the day hikers the further in you get. And if you were paying attention, I don't know if I had the camera on, but there have been a lot of day hikers. I'd say I passed about 25. And this is the middle of the week. So I do wonder what the weekend's like here. Probably very crowded. All right. I'm going to turn you off for a little while, because my guess is we go over the top of that one, and over the top of that one, and then we go down most of the day. That's what I've been told. Don't know. I'll know at the end of the day. Bye-bye.